So in this video, I just want to go over currency strength. And with currency strength, it's really important to know which currencies have the, I guess, the stronger momentums in the market. Because your whole game plan, your whole thing when it comes to trading is to find the pairs that's going to move the, in the direction that you want it to move in a good amount of time. So you want them, you want to make money faster when it comes to trading. So combining currency strength is something that will assist you in doing that. So like if you're looking at a pair and you're looking for, say, a buy on Euro USD, and you're looking for that buy and you're trying to also find a second confirmation with the buy, like you've marked it up, you've, you know, analyzed whatever your strategy you're to trading, but you're just looking for some extra confirmation. You can go on here, and if you're trying to buy Euro USD, you can see here that the Euro, you know, more bars equals more strength. So the Euro is stronger than United States dollars. So that would make the pair Euro USD go up. Or if you're looking to sell um, AUD USD and you're trying to make sure if that's a good trade or not, you can go on here and see that. AUD, the Australian dollar, is stronger than the US dollar. So the pair AUD USD is going to go up. So it may not be a good idea to sell that pair. This is one of the currency strength meters that I use is livecharts.co.uk. The other one that I like to use, which gives you live ticker notifications, is gomarketwatch.com slash currency strength meter. And you can scroll down here and it'll give you live uh, strength meter. So basically what it's doing is that it's monitoring the movement of all the pairs and basically assessing the strength level on a real time basis with the market. So if I'm looking at this, I see that my weak currency is the Japanese yen. So I would, if the Japanese yen was on the second you know, behind the, the parentheses, or not behind the parentheses, behind the, the dash, the uh, forward slash, if it's the second pair in the currency pair, I'm going to look to buy that currency pair at a good level. And if it's like the uh, Great British Pound, which is green, mostly green, especially for the ones that have a higher number, I'm going to look to buy a Great British Pound on that pair. And you want to make sure that you know which of the currency pairs are stronger, which one of the currency pairs are weaker, on top of knowing what your markups or your chart analysis or strategy is calling for. Because you want to line as many things up as possible in your favor in order to give you a good edge when it comes to trading.